This video offers you a sneak preview of Desproto version 7. One of the new features, as you can see, is about 2D CAM. We are very excited about this, as this will make Desproto a complete CAM solution, 2D, 3D, and bitmap. And the sneak preview will show the workflow for the new two-dimensional CAM. Uh, we found a nice example geometry uh, on the Shopbot web website. Shopbot is a US uh, machine manufacturer. And it was down here somewhere. Yes, this Christmas tree. It's made from three flat sheets of plywood. Uh, so two-dimensional cam and they are slotted together to form one three-dimensional tree. So thanks Jean and thanks Bill for letting me use them. Okay, enough. We'll start Desk Proto. Uh, Desk Proto version 7 as you can see. Here it is. Uh, you see a few new uh, buttons on the toolbar. We start with a vector project. 2D is about vector files. DXF files, those three DXF files were in the original design by Shopbot. Uh, we already combined them to have three trees in one drawing. You can see it here is one tree, the second one and the third one. And here are the slots that will allow you to combine the three to one tree. And here's even a slotted star to be positioned on top. Okay, that's about the uh, vector geometry that has been loaded. First in the part parameters, we decide exactly what we want to machine. As said, I want to uh, machine it uh, with a scale factor of two, which will result in about one seventy millimeter high uh, part. It's a bit more than the tree. You can see the star has been positioned a bit more to the left. So this one is uh, a bit smaller than the sheet size. Okay, my material, I have a sheet of material of 200 by 250 millimeters. So I make my block, uh, I add borders around the block, say minus 10 to 190, and here minus 10 to say 140. And important, the block must be one millimeter thick. Here we are, so a border has been added all around, and as you can see, it's really thin material now. Okay, so far uh, the part parameters, as you can see, that's progress at the zero point on the lower left side, uh, left corner, which is easy on the machine later on. Now we go into the vector operation parameters, uh, important is we need a very small cutter, one millimeter diameter. I will call this one uh, profile curves as later on I want to add a second operation for the text. Uh, Z settings is minus one millimeter, which is okay, and five millimeter above the material for positioning move moves, that's okay as well. This is profiling because I want to move the cutter all around the tree. We'll ignore all holes inside on this skill. That wouldn't make sense. So I'll select a few, uh, a few profiles. This one, uh, press shift to add profiles and those three. So I have six profiles that I want to machine and the cutter needs to move around the outside of each profile. So I can say OK. And uh, well, basically that's it. No roughing needed in this material. So I can proceed and calculate toolpath. Here we are. As you see, the toolpath moves around the material nicely on the outside. Uh, what I forgot is that I need to add to some support tabs to keep the part connected to the rest of the sheet uh, while machining. So I'll again go to the uh, vector operation parameters, profiling, and I want to add some support tabs. So here two, here a few, not so many are needed, I assume. Here, 
here and here. Here one in the middle is enough. Okay, here one, here one, and each star will have two support tabs as well. So a support tab is sort of bridge where the inside and the outside keep connected. And when I now press OK and look into some detail, here you can see the support bridge. The cutter goes up a bit and here some material remains to keep the thing connected. So basically that's all there is. I can now uh, save my toolpath in a uh, profile. So, profiles. Okay, here we are, and we can uh, take this file and go to the milling machine. So, now yeah, I have set the zero point here on the left front corner of the machine and the cutter touching the top of the material. Now I can start machining and let's see what happens. Okay, back to Desk Proto. What we have done so far is machine a bare tree. So here is empty space on the tree. And what I want to do is personalize this, this postcard tree by adding some text. So we need to load a second vector file. I prepared the three texts in a second DXF file. We'll open it. Uh, no need to uh, have extra transformations, so just OK. And here you can see the text. It will be difficult to see, but we can fix that later. Um, OK, we go to the, we make a new operation because this, for this operation, uh, different settings will be needed. For instance, the machining depth need to be uh, lower. I call this one uh, the text curves. OK, again, the small cutter, one millimeter diameter. Um, the Z settings is not minus one. That would make holes in my sheet. So I make it minus dot 45 or something like that. Uh, position height is okay. No profiling. I want to do pocketing. Pocketing means removing all material within a closed curve like the character. And I want to select which curves need to be machined. Well, it seems quite difficult to select the text, but luckily we have used layers in the DXF file. So I can switch off the star. You can see the difference here. And the tree remains only the text. And I can simply select all texts. And here we are. Uh, let me say apply to show to you. Here's the text. Uh, step over is OK, everything is OK. So basically, that's it. We can calculate toolpath. And what I forgot to do in the first shot is that we can also make a simulation, which is interesting as well. So the simulation shows the complete block. First, calculate the profile curves. Here we are with, for instance, here is a support tab. And then we also add a text curves calculate. And in order to make it a bit more visible, I'll switch off the vector curves and switch off the toolpath. And now we have only the simulation. OK, and that looks that looks nice, exactly what we needed. So uh, simulation can be off. Toolpath again can be on. Uh, I make the profile curves invisible because I want to save the texts only. And I again do a write and see file and I call this one 
texts. Oh, yes, here we are. Only divisible operation. And again, it's a piece of cake in Desproto. So uh, we go back to the machine. Okay, and now we can start it, send the text to the machine, and here they come. Okay, here we are. This is the sheet of wood as it came from the milling machine. All I need to do here is the support tabs, is cut them off, and then the result will be ready. So piece of carton, and here we go. Cut, cut. This is off. Here are the three pieces, and I can easily built, I can just send them off in an envelope as a Christmas wish and I can also yes, start, easily put them together let me try <laughs> and here is the resulting tree as you can see nice